Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Ursa Ryan and we're playing A to Z again because we never survive, the alphabet is unrelenting. Today we're on P for Phoenicia, not C for Carthage because I played Civ 5 too much and I can never remember which one it is but it's Phoenicia. I am really looking forward to this game, it's going to be a lot of fun because oh boy, it's, it's a good challenge, let me tell you that right now. Remember if you want to play along come to Discord because I've got the exact save file for you to pick up and put onto your computer but for those who like the old-fashioned way of doing it, these are the details. We are playing on a huge Island Plates map, but limited to only eight civilizations today, so we have plenty of space to explore. Legendary start positions and low sea levels mean for one chunky map. And my channel supporters have given me a few things to do today. Remember, you can come along to Coffee and Patreon as well if you want to put A to Z suggestions into the pot. This is a good one. Settle, 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 and then settle. We are going to create a trading hub, an absolute nexus that will pump settlers out at the maximum pace that I think the game will allow. My challenge is to get as close to the theoretical maximum that you can get for building settlers. I'm going to have so many cities on this map. We're going to be in the American naming scheme before you know it. Actually, can we get through America and go straight to Arabia? Oh, that's a question. To help me do that, I've got barbarian clans, monopolies, and corporations and secret societies. Yeah, you can see where this is going already. We're going to be creating civilian units like mad. Because specifically we're going to be looking for furs and we're going to be looking for olives. Those two will help me to produce civilian units a lot quicker when we pick up industries and then corporations. And then products and, you know, really important things like Casa and then also Kilwa and also encampments and even throwing on top of that diplomatic quarters and even throwing on top of that cards like colonization and colonial taxes and uh, just just wait this game is going to get mad that's almost step one step one on my world domination plan is to find a city that can get myself either a fur or olive monopoly that's the step one we're going to settle a city next to either furs or olives we're going to get the corporation set up and i'm going to turn that into a settler hub. Step two, somewhere on this map with only eight players, I have forced in Rome. They're going to destroy Rome because, you know, Punic Wars are the most fun things that any proud Phoenician empire could achieve. I'm going to move my capital to a Roman city, just as the ultimate spite. That's what I'm going to do. I was going to do it to Rome, but alas, you cannot move your capital to somebody else's capital. Trust me, I've tried. It's impossible. So we're going to move our capital to Rome. We're going to set up a settling hub. I'm going to make sure that every single one of my cities is on the coast. We're going to build coffons on all of them. I may be using secret societies and barbarian clans to give myself owls of Minerva. We're gonna we're gonna be very rich. I'm using the Civilizations Expanded mod yet again because the version of Phoenicia is really really interesting. I've played Phoenicia a lot the base game so having a little bit of a difference is quite fun. It's pretty much the same except from a couple of buffs. The Kofon now gives me extra production not just towards traders but also to what sorry not just towards settlers but also towards traders and naval units so there's a lot of extra production here. It's still cheap to use. The Byrim, I think, is pretty much the same. Phoenician alphabet. Now, I begin the game with writing technology unlocked. It's actually physically unlocked because, of course, we have the first alphabet. However, we get some extra stuff as well. Coastal cities begin with a three trading post, so we'll be able to throw trade routes up everywhere. This is a very Roman-esque ability. As long as it's a coastal city, I get 25% production towards the first specialty district. Let me tell you that right now is going to be a coffin, probably. And we get science and and gold for every five tiles traveled on a trade route. I again, this is going to get crazy. Also, if my traders are within three tiles of any campus, they get a great scientist point. Oh yeah, it's fun. Campus Cothon, Campus Cothon. We know how we're going to be playing this. Founder of Carthage means that I can move my capital as usual to a city with a Cothon. I'm going to wait until I can do that on Rome, or a Roman city, I should say. I also get 50% production towards buildings in the capital, so moving your capital around can be quite fun. The usual loyalty thing, where if you settle a coastal city on the same continent as your capital, it's always loyal. Settlers ignore movement penalties for embarking and disembarking, and you get two movement and two sight when embarked. That's pretty much the same. However, founding the first Venetian city on a foreign continent grants you two trade route capacity. We need to get out there. We need to get out there fast. Turn one as we gaze upon the shores yet again full 
of giant death crabs. Why is every single one of my games with these armoured plated monsters, these crustacean overlords that one day I will probably bow to- we're gonna have to ignore those for a second because I've also got elephants and amber. None of those are very important for me. It is a very meh start but it does have a river, it is on the coast and there is a 2-2 tile next to me. I think unfortunately- is this floodplain? No this is just floodable land. <laughs> I'm sure that won't bite me later. Let's just found the city and we can worry about it later. Now, something I didn't know about island plate maps, which I really find interesting, is that every single tile is programmed so that it must be either next to a coast or a mountain. I never knew that. It's really exciting, but that's why the map has so many inland mountains. Oh, and before anybody asks, yes, I know the mountains have yields. That civilization's expanded. It does that to all of them. It's really quite fun. Let's start with sailing, get some biremes out so we can go and explore. I need to find my luxuries as quickly as possible, and it's island plates. We're not going to have a lot of space. There is no point building scouts, warriors, slingers. It's just not a thing. However, campus will be good as soon as I've got a tile to build a campus on, so let's go for a monument for now. Exciting! I actually forgot, I've got 50% production towards buildings in my capital, haven't I? So that, that building, that monument is being made very quickly. Interestingly, there's also a reef there, so if I could get mining, that would be a good campus location maybe? Just depends really on how big our starting island is gonna be. Are we trapped on something incredibly small? I actually, you know what, already we do have one space to put another city. That's a good start. That's, uh, I was worried we were going to be absolutely trapped here, but no, we're all good. Owls of Minerva, we found it, and there's Nana Dole. Amazing. Districts next to or on coast or lake tiles give to culture. That is a big bonus on an island plates map. Just trust me. We're actually going to throw that to get the culture immediately by getting Amani and popping her straight into Nanadol. Yeah, I like that. I could have gone owls very early, but I don't think it was worth it. I think I am going to go for a religion, but I'm not going to rush a religion today. We have seven religions available on this map and only eight players, so the AI won't pick them all up. I can afford to wait a little bit, I think. Let's get that settler done quickly. We're picking up tiles at rapid pace now. It's a tiny little city. It's fine. I mean, we've got elephants. I mean, <laughs> Carthage with elephants, eh? Why can we not use elephant troops? Come on. That was the best thing about it. Where's the Hannibal RP? Where, where is it? Oh, Nan Adult. Yes, 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 yes. Extra culture because my city center is on the coast. Beautiful. 6.5 culture per turn. That's what we like to see. Oh, and a CAD. Melee and anti-CAV units do full damage to walls. More important is the fact that that is a military city-state. I can use that later to produce settlers at rapid pace, which is what we're going to be doing. Now let's go for foreign trade so we can get maritime industries. Let's get those boats out nice and quickly. And God King and I think Discipline the two for me. Oh, the Harvest Calendar is such a good additional thing. This is again, Civilization's Expanded. Nice little early game policy. Just gives your cities more food. Really handy. There is sailing. We we will get some boats out quickly, don't you worry. What, uh, what do I just want? Send a trade route to a CAD. Oh, that's good. If I can pick up owls and then send them a trade route, that will give me a CAD suzerain, which will be beautiful. There's foreign trade. Let's put maritime industries in immediately because barbs are not a problem on such a small island with very little room. I do want that colonization card though and the governor. So we're going to rush early empire. I've got such a crazy amount of culture. I don't even need to really hang around. I can just go straight for it. It's awesome. All right, looks luckily like there is a bit more room on this island than I had first feared. That's wonderful. Oh, a little peninsula with some wine. Beautiful. But don't forget furs and olives. Those are the two that we're looking for here. They're probably not going to be on the continent that I start on, but I will find them. Don't you worry. Let's squeeze out a couple of biremes. A lot of era score. First boat on the water as well. We've got the 100% production card in. Squeeze them out. Oh, barbarian galleys. The sea ghosts. They're here. So much worse than regular ghosts, I always find. Next up, Celestial Navigation. We can improve two sea resources. Of course we can. I've just spotted, though, that there is a beautiful campus. It can go next to a reef there and a mountain. Beautiful. That involves sticking a city down there. And you know what? We're going to be doing a lot of pinning today. Lots and lots of pins, because I want to make sure that we have all of the city locations taken that are possible. City number two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's one of those. <laughs> 
You see, I always find this really interesting, okay? Look at uh, the spelling of that city. Now, there was a thing that I read ages ago, and I haven't read this in a little while, but it's all to do with the fact that in the old Phoenician alphabet, there was a weird way you used to spell things, and typically vowels would get missed out when you spelt down words, so that would be pronounced normally, but you just take out all the O's and the E's and the A's and all that sort of stuff when you write it down. So, fun little education with Ursa here. The way you actually pronounce this city, spelt L-P-Q-Y, is actually subscribed to Ursa Ryan. It's, it's a very, very specific dialect you've got to get your head around, but when you actually look at it for a little bit, it does make a lot of sense, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think anyone will notice. Hey, I'm gonna stick a canvas down. Let's do it. Oh, another two culture per turn as well, because this is also on the coast. Yeah, keeping Nan the doll is gonna be very important this game. We're gonna lose that city on pain of death. Yearning for new adventures, the Byreme is going to make its way into the world. Beautiful. I'm just gonna pick up a second one very quickly. That'll give me the ship building boost and we'll go and explore. Actually, you know what? I think the Byreme may have an extra movement on the base game. Does a Byreme normally have four movement? I don't remember that, but anyway. Oh, Barb Encampment. Um, it's going to die very quickly. Oh, Barbarian Horseman. It's a terrible thing. If it was going to offer me a cool unit, that would have been awesome. Poundmaker. Hello. I would love to know where your capital is, please. Oh, it's right over there. Oh, we're on a big island. Interesting. Okay, that is good to know. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you not going to kill this barb encampment? I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine. Um, I don't think I've got to worry about an invasion from Poundmaker just yet, but we've got to keep in mind that they're up there. Is this all the same continent? It is, yeah. This is the same landmass. It's got to be. Oh, okay. The Cree, they, they chose death, and now there's a hoplite there. Oh, 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 I want one of those. Can we buy one of those? That would be cool. Right, run away. Let's pick up owls, though. I've got my governor. That's all lovely. We can now build settlers super quickly, which is what we're going to do. God King is important. And then I'll put harvest calendar or urban planning or something like that in. Beautiful. We're, we're focusing on getting settling in this early game up until I get the beautiful Kofon district. And when I say we're going to focus on settling, ho ho, we really are. Don't be surprised if that's pretty much all that my cities end up doing is just settle 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 i i i am gonna take this very seriously oh hello barbarian you can officially get lost so now that i have some gold i'm actually gonna gamble yeah here we go on building a trade route from tire with my 175 gold i get one gold and one science for every five tiles a trader will travel it's big bonuses that's a very big bonus, and I'm going to get a CAD and sort that out very quickly now. Auckland, you're kidding me. I have not changed these city-states, and that is possibly the best city-state that I could ever want to get. Oh, that's good. Now, I'd like an early game great scientist, and my traders will help me as soon as this starts going past a campus, but check out this, a CAD. That is two bonus science and gold for that trade route, because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tiles, so it gets two chunks of that five tile bonus. I get the one envoy for being Owls of Minerva, and I get one for having a city-state quest there, which means I immediately suzer in it. Beautiful. Uh-oh, I'm in danger. Oh no. I'm going to have to run. Let me run. No, 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 Run away, run away, run away, run away. Also, how has Poundmaker got 243 faith per... I mean, what? What? 20 faith per turn? Really? I wonder if it's something to do with their ability. Remember, in Civilizations Expanded, everyone gets bonuses, not just you. So what have they got? They seem to have trade routes, extra stuff. Yeah, and that's all very similar. No? There's nothing there that gives faith. I mean, what What have you done? Oh, we've got a relic. That explains a bit, but still, that's still far too much faith. Because they haven't got any holy sites. And that's Did they just build a preserve really early? I don't know. So whatever they've done, it, it, it's working. Japan, another naval sieve. Hello? I'd love to know where you live, please. I think you are on another continent, aren't you? Yes. Perfect. As soon as we find other continents, we're going to just be looking for other luxuries. Anyone want my Diplo favor, by the way? Oh, yeah, Japan really does. Oh, lovely. That's that's really handy. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that, and I will give open borders to the Cree. Be useful, because now I can go and hopefully get myself a builder, and we can improve some sea resources quickly. That'll boost celestial navigation. We can get our Kofon district nice and quickly, because there's only one thing better than subscribing to Ursa Ryan on coffee, and that's the Kofon district. <laughs> Hatusa. Hello, Hatusa. Nice. Oh, there is coffee. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's almost too good. Here's my fishing boat, which is beautiful. We've got a campus almost being popped up. There's mysticism. We're just about to get the improvement to this. And what are we going to do? I'm going to be settling everywhere. Everywhere, 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 everywhere. What would be good to help me with settling? Let's just throw in immediately into the whole Carthage thing. City patron got us. 25% bonus production towards districts and cities without a district. So that's 25% boost. And we're already getting 25% boost from being on the coast anyway. So fingers crossed. That means that first district we build in any city is going to be rather rapid now. Here is some beautiful amber. Bam! Celestial Navigation is boosted and finished. And this campus is going to absolutely speed up the Cothon process process nice and quickly so I like this so far this start is proving to be everything that I could want it to be oh Japan has settled right down here that is a shame because look at all of this chocolate mmm the coca one two three four five six seven sources of it just on this one little tip of the continent I, I mean that's beautiful oh yep Japan has definitely noticed how good it is now depending on where they settle they may leave themselves very very open to a cheeky little Phoenician naval attack here we'll see Another governor. Who are we going to go for first? Pingala? Or should we just go straight into Magnus and get producing settlers nice and quickly? Let's just, again, let's just lean into the settler vibe. I like it. It's chill. Oh, hello. That's a lot for Amber. All right. Yeah, perfect. I think one of the city-states must be giving me a copy already. So that's beautiful. Tons of gold up front. Oh, yes. Lovely. Well, I think I'll treat myself to a library then. Oh, huge, huge science burst there. Colonization, good. God King is good. But I'm going to get urban planning now. Perfect. That'll just help to push my production a small a bit further. We're just producing boats. But I think I'm going to need bireams, really. Bireams are going to be very, very good for a little bit of cheeky early game warfare. Now, this galley's going to try and pillage that boat. There we go. It didn't have the movement. I didn't think it had the movement, but I wasn't 100% sure. Anyway, we're going to keep an eye on Japan and see where they end up settling. I think they're going to do something rather silly that they're going to end up regretting. Government plaza, uh, plaza. I am not going to build this until I find the city that I want to build settlers from. So I will be waiting on that one. You can see Auckland as well. I'm going to just wait until I give this city-state an envoy. Waiting anyway until I have political philosophy. A beautiful thing. 11 culture per turn. Oh, Oh, we're even keeping up with Japan. That's saying something. They are culture specialists. City number three. Oh, lovely. Look at that. I've got some snuffly trufflies, some more amber. Beautiful, beautiful. Six turns. I would love a golden age if I can get one, but it's... <sighs> Okay, I need seven points. I'm going to get four for finishing a cough on, which I should be able to rush through really quickly. But early game era score is always a real pain. It really is. And I don't know the easiest way of getting this. I could levy city-states, I guess. But that's quite expensive, and I don't really have the gold to be doing that right now. I could be throwing up Corsa's Belli, but again, I don't know what the point of doing that would be. Hire a galley from that tribal village. Sorry, uh, the Barbarian, the, the Spearman's, you know what I mean. Look, look, it's all fine. Um, Oh, Celestial Navigation will be uh, from the next era, so that will give me a little bit of score, as will Political Philosophy and Getting Government. Oh, you know what? I might just pull this one off. Oh, Cree. Oh, Japan. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. People people are starting to settle in places that I consider to be Carthaginian. No, sorry, Venetian. Yes, I know the difference. So there's last navigation. There's one of the era score that I was talking about. But the Cothon. Right. There's a lovely plus four. I'm just going to lean into that one. And we are going to immediately chop it for 54 production to get that finished. Four era score and a three boat. Because don't forget, you get a three boat when you build a Cothon. It's lovely. And now my saddle is being built 50% faster. Because of course it is. Beautiful. What do I build next? Shipbuilding to embark? Or do I do some of the... Uh, let's do some of the basic tech first. Animal husbandry, pottery. Beautiful. Uh, we've got another Byrene being built there. Um, this city is only being strengthened by the fact there is a warrior sat in it at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of warriors uh, around. Oh no, it's not. It actually technically has that strength. Fine. But I have a lot of army here. I have a lot of army and I feel pretty secure in this little location actually. So, you know what? I might strike, but actually I'm going to continue settling just for a little bit. But actually, no, no, no. This city, let's get the builder. I need to get the population going in the city first to get the cough on. And then I will start to settle. Perfect. We, we, we can wait. We can wait. But yeah, let's let's get the city. I'm just going to steal it. Why not? There we go. We have got our government. And I'm just going to go to oligarchy for a second. 
Now, I'm not sticking with it for ages, but melee units gaining four combat strength is really handy when all you have is melee units. It's a pretty nice thing indeed. Let's quickly go for settlers, urban planning, harvest calendar for a bit more food in my new cities, maritime industries, conscription. Done. Awesome stuff. Bit more gold, bit more food, bit more everything. Our cities are just going to grow nicely now. Japan is giving me one gold per turn at the moment. Let's just see if I can nab some gold from them before. Yeah, look at this. I can just steal all 106 of their gold for some diplo favor. Surprise war time. You have 149 military strength. It is rare that in this early game, I actually have more strength from the AI. But alas for them, it is so. And I've got 39 strength attacks. We should be able to steal this city pretty quick, actually. Yeah, you're gonna move warrior there. Okay, and it's useful to know, but I haven't seen any Japanese boats just yet. So at the moment we are doing okay. Oh, it doesn't take the city this turn, but I have reinforcements. Let's just go and explore. Oh, there's a city-state troop there. Interesting. Asaka. I don't want any of their other cities. I'm just, I'm stealing this one just purely because of the luxuries here and the fact that I think with the Golden Age, I should have the loyalty to be able to easily keep that city. Like not even a problem. Oh man, I need ship building quickly because then I can get my settlers out to sea. They don't have to be doing all of this very slow walking. Pottery. That means we have a Golden Age. There you go. Ship building is now nice and quick to do. And what are we going to do? Free inquiry. I think it's got to be the one. Extra science from Eureka's but also getting my gold adjacency from my coffins into science makes me one happy Ursa. Uh, just if to show you now this one is already worth four science per turn so we'll just flick that in oh yeah 15.8 science that's the sort of yield that I've come to know and love we're just going to keep growing by continuing to take cities and look at that it's already loyal oh it's not even on my continent and it's already loyal uh Japan's only in a normal age oh oh dear sucks to be you now do my boats still heal in one turn no the boats don't heal in one turn if they're in a city with coffins that is a so that's in the base game and that is the most overpowered thing ever as soon as you get your head around it oh Kyoto's on the cow Kyoto's on the sea everyone right we may be making an unexpected stop into the Japanese capital didn't really want to be going this warlike at the beginning of the game but you know when the AI makes it this easy what 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 can you do what can you do Oh, you know what? I should, uh, yeah, my bad, my bad. I should absolutely have uh, put the cough on on this tab so that I could have got an adjacency with something else. Yeah, that's my bad. I, I, I didn't think, and now it's there, but it's fine. I'm not going to undo it. I don't like going back and undoing turns. Oh, we have a small invasion of one Japanese boat and a barb, which is a bit annoying because they're going to eat that amber, but never mind. I think I'm trading it away anyway, so it's not a problem. Oh, Korea really settling along here. I mean, do you want to be settling this close to me on the sea? It's all I'm saying it's not a it's not a very safe strategy oh the barb has gone just straight to my district yeah cheeky very cheeky don't do that no 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 you're gonna stay in pillage or are you going to attack what are you gonna do barbarian they stayed in pillage that is the annoying choice it's it's a choice i respect but it's one that i immediately hate as well <laughs> Just gonna take the settler card off briefly so that I can put the first diplomatic envoy counts as two into Auckland. That gives me two envoys there. And now I can send a beautiful trade route all the way to Auckland. Look at that, 11 gold and five science per turn. Oh, yum. That is really good. I need to fix my cough on though quickly. That is uh, very injured right there. Oh, Japan has a religion with choral music. Ah. Uh... It is almost too easy to say they would have feed the world, isn't it? I actually want peace with them now. Can we can we get peace? I'm I'm pretty pretty ready for peace. Oh, my settler can now embark. Yes. Oh, that's such a small thing, but it's such a good upgrade for me. I love it. So there are fisheries here, which is great because I can attack Kyoto and then heal myself. And I've got four movements, so I can do both in the same turn. I'm going to take Kyoto. Uh, I don't want the diplomatic favor penalty at this early stage of the game. So in the peace deal, I'll give it back. And hopefully Japan will give me a ton of gold for that peace deal. That's what we're hoping. Oh, look at that currency. If I can get corporations down really quickly. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. Already got two amber per turn. I'm going to get more in a second as well. This is all looking good. It's all coming up, Ursa. Right, we're going to stop the Cree settling towards me by putting something down there. Ha ha ha. What are you going to do about that? 
Apart from declare war on me, I would disapprove of that immensely. Masonry, boosted. Snuffly trufflies, boosted. Oh, look at these deals with the Cree. Oh, we are trading for absolutely everything right now. They are desperate for the old luxuries, and I've got 66 gold per turn now. Plus, I can pillage there for a bit of gold so that I can now get a lighthouse in my capital, which is beautiful because all of these crabs are being worked, and I need that to be worked as well. Come on, work these tiles. Do it. Work it for me. Actually, look at these campuses I can put down there. Oh, that's a plus six on that. I think I've got to, I've got to keep an eye on that one. Is this a new continent? Where does this live? No, that isn't, but if I... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's just get rid of this one. Uh, um, look at that. That's a, that's a campus and a half, isn't it? Beautiful. So I think Japan will offer me peace, uh, especially after I take Kyoto. Now there is a coffee. Can I just sell that? Yeah, I'm just going to sell that quickly. I, I don't think I'm going to keep the gold per turn, but um, there we go. We'll keep that. I'll make peace. They're going to give me all of their gold once I give them Kyoto back. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Oh, well, actually, they'll give me other cities. Hang on. Whoa. They'll give me Okiyama. Oh, which one's that? I don't know where that city is. I, I don't remember the last time I saw an AI giving up a city in a peace deal. That is crazy. You know what? I'm actually going to take it from them just because they're going to give it. And uh, I think for now... I probably won't be able to keep it, but it's going to unlock some more stuff for me, which is great. Oh no, it's on the coast. It's on the coast in a desert. Oh, okay. That's perfect for me. I love it already. <laughs> I will keep it as if it was my own home. Beautiful. And now I'll give you open borders because I'm lovely. Right. Beautiful. Uh, and now we've got peace. We can say, don't you dare settle anywhere that I have already claimed, even though I haven't explicitly told you about my claims. I'm just coming up with them like an absolute madman. Also, look at the fact, 11 turns for a cough on in a new city. Yes, these are the things I want to see. We settle too close, sorry, no. There's going to be a lot of grievances here, because we're going to do a lot of settling. I will promise nobody on this map anything when it comes to settling. Oh, currency. There we go, we can get our first in industries down now. Mm, there's a couple of industries down, but nothing too bad. Oh, the Kofan gives a merchant point per turn. I didn't notice that. That's, I was wondering why I was getting great merchant points, but there we go. Okay, we're going to get a lot of great merchant points. Fair enough. That's a handy little addition. I like that a lot. Oh, yes. Oh, check out my science as well. Oh, yeah. So I have a choice in my capital. We could go amber for thief yields, or I could go ivory for military units. I think I know which one I'm going to go for. I'm definitely going to put the corporation down on the ivory, which means... Oh, no, marble. Marble's an option as well. What's marble? Buildings. Hmm. Now, you know what? I'm going to keep that as it is. We're going to put the industry down on this tile, then I'll put one on that tile, then I'll put one on this tile. I might have to do a little bit more exploring to get all of those things, but this is a good arrangement for me at the moment. Oh, these cough funds are going down as well. Beautiful. So you know what? I'm going to send three of the bioremes out on just auto explore. Let's see if we can find the world. I'll keep a couple back just to keep me safe. But I want to go and explore the map. We're going to see if we can find those beautiful luxuries that we're after to go and make our settler capital. Go on, Japan. You can send me over your religion. I don't even mind. There's irrigation, which means we can get some coca down. Beautiful. I mean, I'm just going to make an industry over here because honestly, why not? Another cough on. More boats. Yes. Yes. We like to see this a lot. Oh, Vicky. England's in the game. Wow, we really have a bunch of naval powerhouses. Also, how come the Kree's got a hundred science per turn? Question. What's going on? What? Ah, okay, I think they may also probably be in a golden age, I'm guessing. Have they gone for the same golden age as me? Yes, they did. So they've gone for science. They're getting a deity boost. They've probably got a lot of great scientist points, 6.9, so they've got a lot of campuses down. Oh man, they're just... You know what, if I'm going to attack the Kree and steal some of these cities from them, one, two, I should probably do it soon, because I don't think they're going to end up, uh, yeah, being my friend for long. I have generated a lot of grievances this game. Like, a lot. Magnus has provision now, though. That's good. We still need to do a lot of exploring of the map, but I, I'm i liking this start. I feel like we've got a good base amount of resources and space and all the usual stuff. But as I say, we're looking for any furs or any olives. And so far, we've found none of either, so we will continue to explore for now. Oh, look at some of these trade routes. Yes. Oh, 
I like it, and this will get me tons of great scientist points because it's going through all over Cree land there, so yeah. Okay, we like this. We like this a lot. We're going to just start sending out trade routes everywhere we can get away with. You know what, looking at all the gold paternum I'm getting from the Cree, I actually don't think I am going to attack him. I'm going to leave those there because I've got so much space to expand into. We don't need that early game war right now. I'm going to just be this enigma, you know? Like, I'm going to just be sat here minding my own business, just making myself filthy rich. Oh, that's an industry that gives me growth and housing in this city. This is going to be my Pingala city, probably. I'm just calling it now. A lion mine down there. Beautiful. That's looking good. I need a... Get a builder for this horseback riding. I was going to try and get for construction, but actually I'm trying to get all the boosts. I know I've got crazy science, but if I can keep boosting everything, it's going to be great. How have you only got 11 techs with 100 science per turn, Cree? What is going on? I need to have a word with your science advisor because whatever they're telling you to do, I would question it. I would question it heavily. So if I don't necessarily want to fight the Cree, one thing I could do is to exert loyalty pressure on them because, of course, I don't get loyalty pressure as long as I'm on the coast. So I can really settle close to them and just be an absolute pain. I just build up big cities, put my cothons down, get lots of fish in, get really plump and fat. Mmm, delicious. That would be how it would work. My first Great Admiral. Lovely. We like a good Great Admiral. I'm going to use that to explore a little bit more. I need, as I said, I just need to find these continents. If I can find the promised land of luxury, should be good. Oh, Kamasi, Nazca. Some good options here, actually. Oh my goodness, though. Kree are pumping out settlers. They are going to be real problems. Maybe I do have to war with them. Maybe I do. Oh, increases trader capacity by one. That would be good if I had a single commercial hub to use, but I do not. So we're going to keep that for the inevitable corporation rush later into the game. As discussed before, Pingala. I'm going to stick them down into this city to the north of me. It's a really cool city and it's going to grow to massive proportions because of the industry I've got there. So looking forward to getting that one sorted. Ooh, furs, 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 furs. We found them to the south of me. Right. Is that going to really be where I put my... Se oh, no. <laughs> it's a terrible place, but okay. That's interesting. There are furs around here on the continent of Europe. Interesting. Okay, right, as I say, well, that could be where we're off to. I've been making settlers in all of my cities. I've got one, two, three, four that should be ready in the next sort of 18 turns or so, whilst my capital just builds a campus. Gonna get feudalism quickly. I need to get that settlement city out as quickly as I can, really. Are you gonna settle on that spot or not? I was thinking it'd be really helpful if you did, because that was gonna, that's where I was gonna put a city. But uh, you're being very indecisive here. I'm also taking the opportunity to switch to a classical republic. I no longer need that war boost. So for me, getting a better, you know, mix of policies is a really, really good one. First invoy counts as two. That's also a really, really handy one for me. So I've got food in all my cities. I've got settler production, production in all my cities. I think that's a good combo. Let's also just go for boat building, because I like boats. Good to have as many of them as we can get, really. So does this count as my first city on a new continent? I think it does. No? Because I'd already taken a city on that continent through war. Ah, see, the thing is, I am supposed to get one for a first city on a foreign continent and get two trade route capacity. But I think because I'd taken a city through war first, I didn't settle on it. So I don't get that bonus. That's a bit of unfortunate, but what can you do? Okay, look at that. There we go. They settled right where I wanted them to. So that city, absolutely. I do want to steal that as long as I can get the loyalty kill on it which I should be able to that's fine Kamasi show me everything what's going on here hmm it's a nice island actually that's a really good place to settle apprenticeship there we go that's something I do want a little bit of I want some of these delicious engineers oh yes we want to be able to rush our wonders later into the game. I think that's definitely what we want to be able to do because as soon as I settle this settler city, which at the moment I'm on the way to, apart from the fact that somebody else seems to have got there first, but apart from that, it's all fine. It's okay. It's only a delay. We will we will win this. This is fine. So pretty much from this point onwards, all of our routes are going to go to city-states. I was thinking about this and obviously we're going owls, which means we get envoys, but I've also got Kamasi and Kamasi is brilliant because it basically gives me delicious culture and gold for all of my trade routes to city-states. So yeah, it, it's all looking wonderful. In fact, actually look, Bandar Brunei, yoink. Thank you so much. Getting city-states on side is absolutely the way that we're going to find all of these delicious olives and furs. This is our priority. We need to collect all of them we can in this empire. 
Menelik, Ethiopia. Okay, I think that is absolutely who's just settled over by the Thurs. That's fine, but that city, I want that as a settler city. Honestly, that that is annoying because that's what I wanted to do down here, but it's fine, it's fine. I've got a settler on the way. It's just taken me a while to, to get there. This, this continent is slow to navigate across and the Cree have put down some annoying cities that stop me from getting anywhere I want to as quickly as I'd like it to. Mathematics gives me more movement speed though. Got to unlock Kilwa now. Kilwa and Cassa. Those are the two, the, the golden two that I'm really looking for. In fact, speaking of, I probably need to pick up Mausoleum sooner rather than later so that my engineers stretch a little bit further. Just starting to counter settle the Cree a little bit here. Yeah, this is this is a bit awkward, but we'll we'll get there. I've got that one coming along. This city can no longer be settled. This one absolutely can, so that's fine. And this settler is just making their way down to the promised land of the furs. Oh man, ten turns boat. Oh, Golden Age is already slipping past my grip. I need about 15 era score. Oh boy, that's a lot of era score. Actually, we can get a great engineer or two, or maybe even three. We've got a lot of gold coming in per turn. So I've got the gold to do it. Just about making sure that we manage to get everything we need to. Industrial zone needs to be plus four. Unfortunately, that's going to be a plus three. Urgh, that's awkward. We settle all our cities, though. That could be a sprawling empire, thinking about it. Might be a bit of a push, but it's something that could go down. The fun thing about the ability to embark and disembark without movement penalty is that I can get over like small spits of land by moving onto it and then back into the sea. And it's like, hee 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 hee. Oh, movement. It's awesome. One thing I could do is try and circumnavigate the globe. That is something that I think I'm going to have to focus on doing quickly. How many turns have I got to do it? Nine turns. I reckon I can link up in nine turns. It'll be close, but I think we can do it, especially if we can get Cardiff on side. Naval tradition. Oh, what's naval? A killer unit with a quadroon. How have I not done that? That feels like something I should have done. Okay, first 2,000 gold. Let's get this great engineer. Lovely. Now it's a Seador. Yeah, we're going to be getting some decent chunks of engineers right now. Eight turns. We're getting so much gold. I think I can buy all of the great engineers. Each time I do as well, we get another chunk of era score. Should be quite an effective little combination. Egypt. We could meet everyone as well that could be the thing to do to get the golden age this time around world wonder chingeti oh no i think i just found rome i recognize those hideous purple borders every anywhere terrible uh, i'm gonna get some era score for settling close to the Cree here but again we're just squeezing the loyalty on them now <laughs> if i build these cities up in population as well nothing they can do i know i'm putting all of these cities down and i haven't got the three builder each time it sucks i know but i'm just saving my government plaza for this city i think it's worth it you know what i actually have to build in the snow here in order to get the first the, the, the loyalty pressure is problematic here as long as I build within a certain distance of those furs, we should be okay. Once I stick a governor in the city and get the population up with a couple of chops of fish and whatever, I think we can do it. But let me just double check. Is there really nothing else? Have we had no other furs? Nope, we haven't. And olives. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, nothing. Nothing. Zilch. Terrible. Okay, it's fine. I don't know what I could do. Friendship. Oh, hang on. We can make friends with Ethiopia. Um, they pretty much like me, to be fair. I, if I could just tease them into a deal with a gift of a bit of diplomatic favor, favorable tree. Yeah, you look at look at this. Look at this. This is good. We can friendship them, and next turn I can get a culture alliance. Okay, that'll be good. Then I can settle closer over here. Look at that. That is a fine food marsh tile. Blimey. Yeah, apparently they get extra food from resources. That's awesome. Yeah, they're, they're strong. That's machinery boosted. Let's go now for Casa and Cartography. Oh no. Caesar. Massive shoulders, man. How are you? Exchanging information on capitals is a good idea, I guess. I need to know where Rome is. <laughs> Let's face it, it's going to be a target at some point. There's the friendship, and... Oh, civil service isn't going to work until next turn. Man, I just lost a ton of culture because Nana Doll got stolen by Ethiopia. Oh, ho, ho, ho. don't like that. Nana Doll is basically the most important thing in my empire. We're going to have to steal that one back, friend. That is, uh, that is not cool. Egypt has olives. Interesting. Okay, where are you, Egypt? There. Oh... I think I can find the olives if I just lurk around this area. Oh, Nubia is settled right near Egypt. Interesting. 
Here we go, civil service, done. Let's put serfdom in, maritime industries, not really doing anything for me at the moment, to be fair, so let's put the settler card back in. Classical Republic working overtime for us. Alliances, cultural, let's do it. There we go, small gold outlay, but we can do it, and that means we can now settle on this continent, which we are going to do by going one. And of course, because I can still move, my settler has embarkation. I can go bam, first settle ones in Europe. I got a relic. Beautiful. Again, remember how to pronounce these Phoenician cities. They remove the vowels, so it looks like MTW, but it actually says is support me on coffee. It's, it's a very unique pronunciation, but as I say, you do get the hang of it after a while. Now we need to build this city up as quickly as possible. Magnus, get over here as quickly as you can. Hang on, what was the city? It was losing loyalty like that. Oh, it was this one. Ah, yeah, but it's, it's permanently loyalty locked because it's on my capital. So this city needs an encampment, a government plaza, a cothon, and a diplomatic quarter. Yes, a lot of stuff. I think we'll go for the cothon first, or do I go for government plaza? No, we'll go for the cothon first. I think that's probably the quickest way of doing this. We'll get the builder in, and because it's a new continent, I just got two more traders. So let's get those in quickly. Lovely. He wants my relic. Oh, no one wants the relic, really? I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. Plus one sight range for all naval units. Yes. Oh, that's good. It was actually, was that the one that lets me go into the sea as well? By that I mean ocean. Yes, perfect. Oh, that's going to help my exploration no end. Now, what city states do I want to take over? Oh, 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 oh this is going to be really, really handy. Fez would give me fair science if I start spreading my religion. Candy gives me, oh yeah, a lot more relic capacity. I like the sound of that. That's really fun. Just trying to think if there's any that will give me more visibility. Actually, Nanda Doll, I need to put one in. Let's go one to Candy. One to Nanda Doll. I need this city state back. If I can grab it back, I'll give me a lot of culture per turn. Like a lot of culture per turn. Olives, 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 olives. I found them. I found at least three. Perfect. Maybe that should be where my settler city is. Am I going to change my mind again? It's quite far away. Oh, but I do have a settler on... Oh, I could do that. I just don't... I don't dare leave it. I don't dare leave it. I think I'm going to... I'm going to just try and find all the furs. There's only one on the map that I've found so far, but it's okay. We'll find more. There we go. World's first circumnavigation. We did it in 775 BC. Not a bad effort. Not a bad effort at all. Another great merchant. You know what? We're going <laughs> to... We're going to end up getting so much more era score than we needed. I'm, not, I'm going to sort of look at this and go, why were we worried again? Don't remember why we were worried. And here is the golden age. Lovely stuff. What are we going to do today? It's got to be free inquiry again. I mean, I've gone down to 81 science per turn. It made such a huge difference about extra science. Plus, I'm getting huge science boosts as well. I mean, it's keeping me technologically ahead of the entire game. I mean, I'm five behind Cleopatra, but I mean, I, I don't necessarily agree that I, I genuinely am. I feel like I'm doing very nicely indeed. Have I lost Kamasi? No. Oh, it's, I'm not getting anything from Kamasi from this city because I haven't got any districts yet. Ah, uh, that's why. I want one of those routes to go to Nan Nadal. Well, Congress time! Uh, trade routes, yeah, to, let's say trade city-states, I mean, it doesn't really matter. And let's say melee units go up. I'm not using any of my real voting power here because, honestly, I'm kind of selling it. Ah, uh, scientific went through. Actually, that's not bad. I do have some scientific routes. Okay, we've unlocked Casa and I've unlocked Kilwa. I just need to actually build them before the AI does now, which I am not confident about. Here's Nan the doll back. Um, oh, I already had it back apparently, but now I've definitely got it back. 86 culture per turn again. Yeah, the culture per turn was actually quite useful for me. Hong Kong! It appeared from the remnants of a barbarian camp. That is lovely to see. Let's get square rigging quickly. I need anything that increases embarked unit speed is a big deal for me because, oh my lord, my units travel slowly. Oh, Kree have gone Dark Age. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. What cities are going to fall? This one's pretty safe. That one's pretty safe. This one is falling quick. We're going to start gobbling up the loyalty of some of the cities that they settled near me. Oh, that's going to feel good when that happens. Now, this settler, just make your way over. It's going to be quite the long way. 
But this is the promised land. Up where was it? Kind of here by all of these olives. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be good. It's near Rome as well. <laughs> and finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Gratis, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalex, Skeptical Bear, Craig Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amiri C, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, L Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelay, Thank you all for your support. It's amazing. See you all next time. Goodbye.